Right, and welcome back, guys. In the last episode, we uh, we started the horse farm, and I said I was going to get this done. I was going to AFK for a bit, which I have done. And can I just say, I've already had a little sneak peek at the drops, but it is fantastical. Um, so, yeah. So, this is now filled up. Look at all this fish. Look at all this salmon. Oh, my God. I don't know what water bottles are that used for. But look at all these fishing rods as well. Um, what's in here? So, Law 2... Another saddle, another saddle, mending three, power three. So combine those two. Oh my god. Uh, protection four, sharpness four, fire aspect two, power four. Dock back through and breaking. Oh, I could go on and on and on and on. Oh, there's some depth rider in there. I didn't see that. But my golly gosh, this is looking amazing. Uh, where did those two triple hooks come from? Can I get those? Wait. Are they? I don't actually know. Um, but yeah, and oh, you can get them from fishing. Oh my god! So some things I need to do in this area are to make it purified and basically try and make it more um, appealing to the eye. However, we're not going to do that in this episode. I'll probably do that when I've got all the materials together. Um, what we aren't going to do in this episode, however, is in the last episode, if you remember correctly, we started and we gathered horses for our... Oh, I've gone a little bit too far. I won't be able to get underneath here. There we go. Nope. Ah, god damn it. I'm just going to push myself back, aren't I? Um, so let's get back over here. Here. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Um, so, yeah. I do have sound, definitely. So, yeah. E these are all the horses that we found in the last episode. And then... Hello, hello, hello frames, hello, thank you. So this is the gateway that we did, or the small pathway which takes us to the surface. And we don't worry about that because this is the thing when we're going to be interested in this episode. Because this is, and also I remember from last episode when we did some testing, well it wasn't really testing, it was just very much experimenting with the area. Um, this needs to be four high, so... Yeah, that, that looks fine. Um, I'd prefer it to go one more back. Oh, God. There we go. There we go. Oh, my God. My computer can't. I don't know why it's not. Okay. So, yeah. That's going to look fine. And then if I test this, you're going to hurt me here like so. However, as soon as I uh, get in here, yeah, no damage taken at all. So, that's, that's absolutely fine. I always need to find a slime chunk of this uh, episode, hopefully. So that, oh wait, that's another thing we can do. Um, why don't I have my friends? So what I'm going to do uh, meantime is work out a floor design for in here. I might just go with basic grass and then block up this thing and then go out here. So that is going to be the start of the path to the uh, auto furnace. So we're going to dig this out slightly like this. I don't know what's up with my frames at the moment. I suddenly have them, and then I lost them, and then I lose them, and then I get them again, and I lose them again. Ah, it's very problematic. Oh, well. So, yeah. You go out this way, put putting them in the corner, and then probably break it back like this. Just make it look a little bit nicer. So, you got a little bit of a, an edge looking there. So, then and then probably go a couple more blocks. It was very much like we did in the um, small canal. I remember to block it off. I did. Okay, that's absolutely fine. So yeah, first thing I'm gonna do is find a slime chunk, chunk, slime chunk, to get some uh, leashes so I can put these, and I'll put them on the fence post over here. So I'll do that now. All right, there we go. As it hits nighttime, um, I successfully gathered the slime. It was a little bit weird because I dug down. Oh wait, do I? I need string. Um, I've probably used all my string from all the rods I've been making recently. Um, at all. Do I need to go out and try and kill some spiders? None in here. Two in there, but I need a bit more. I think it's string. Two in there as well. It's not looking good, is it? Do I need to venture out and try and kill some, some spiders? Say goodbye to them. Um, let's have a little look. Um, the rain is definitely not helping my whole frame situation. And it doesn't seem like there's anything there. 
How weird. Okay, so let's see if we can find some more strings. I'm pretty sure um, I'm like 40% sure that you get three from it. So let's hope we have some downstairs. I thought I had a lot more string, but I would not be surprised if I didn't. I should probably also combine those two bows. Um, because that'd be pretty damn good. I also want to eventually get mending on all my tools. Um, where are you? So we've got another piece there, which I think that's all we need. But if we can get another one, maybe. Let's also get these arrows, because they're always useful. You see that amount of flint I have? It's just getting a problem. I don't really like it. Um, and that's going to have nothing in it yet. So let's have it. Okay, so really, I only need two. Oh, wait, I needed four. I think that's how you do it anyway. Yeah, so you only get two, but that's absolutely fine. So let's put you on there. And hello. I don't know what's up with these frames, but I'll do everything. I'll do it. It'll be very much an off camera sort of um, episode, so that's absolutely fine. So, first thing I want to do is add a bit of light to the area. So that's. That's a can-do. That is a can-do right there. Um, and next I want to do is look where I've got my... Uh, where I put my... So I've got some dirt on me, so that's absolutely fine. And then... Well, I'll do this bit live. I'll do the rest of it off camera. So... Do you see the grass? Or... Hello. There's the grass. Found you. So yeah, there's a fair amount of cobble which we could um, probably use as a binding block. Uh, what do we? What block is over there? So it's um, so it's just orange. Orange is the only one we we actually need. So let's hope we got some orange in this chest here. Ah, uh, why would we? That makes everything way too easy. Um. Now the only thing is to do is to check all the other chests. So that's absolutely fine. We can just change it at a later date. Um, probably brown would be good for... Okay, so we've got four brown. I think that's going to be enough. Probably not knowing my luck. So what I want is my brilliant idea is to have this block as the brown. Like that. I'll probably have that one there as the as the brown as well. Have that one as the orange, however, however, have every other block on the floor as grass, so it gives off that nature feel. And I'll go back up to the surface and make it so that I can get, I'll get, I'll make a, basically make a pair of shears so that I can, oh, I mean, it's gonna be broken anyway. I'm really sorry about the frames, guys. This doesn't normally happen. Um, my gaming computer is actually pretty decent, so this is pretty weird. Um, but yeah, audio has been fixed, finally. Praise Alleluia. So let's go around here. Let's also, as we want it to spread a lot quicker. I don't know what's up my friends. Oh, there's a spooky Enderman around. Let's hope he doesn't go and catch me. Uh, so let's go. Oh, any second now? No. There we go, some more dirt, so that's perfect, that's exactly what we need. So this base is very slowly, but surely, coming to... Hello? Thank you. <laughs> um, so, probably want this block here to be cobble as well. So let's put that down. Very nice. Gives basically that little entrance sort of feel. Have this all as grass. Have it... Um, Oh, I got a message. No, don't worry. I'm not looking at my phone. I should really turn that off, but I got on as a timer. So, oh, hello, computer. Thank you. So, probably what I'm going to do here is have the. So, I'll probably do this bit on camera so I, you can get an idea of how I'm going to work it out. So, have this bit cut in a couple, first of all. So, it gives off that little um, effect. It's not effect. Um, a little like cornering things that's absolutely fine and then this is where i want the horse table so i want the first level of the horse state for first block of a horse table to be here so let's push this back a couple more um so let's push this back another three or four so and let's also mark it up so let's do that um i think that's all we need to do is the back of it so that's absolutely a-okay so let's get this as well and I think what I want to do for 
Um, that seems quite narrow. So let's also... So that starts there. So on this block here, I understand it's like one off, but that's what I'm going to go for. So this is actually where the corner is going to start. So I need the whole stable here. Let's also get another light. Um, I sh I've got my um, inventory really poorly organized, and I apologize. I, I actually apologize for that because uh, it annoys me just as much as it annoys you. So what I want is for me to run in here. Pick up my horse and then go out this way. So let's break this out. Um, I'll block up the entrance that we did for the um, the hole to the surface. So that's that's no worries. And you see the grass spreading, lovely. That's exactly what we want. So yeah. Uh, so grab the horse. Actually, yeah. So let's push this back one more. Hello, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what's up with my frames, it's really annoying. Um, I might have to restart my computer. Yeah, this is actually becoming unplayable, but oh well. Um, so let's get that. So, nice little area for the horsey. Uh, let's put that back there and let's put a light source on here. And then just here is going to be the entrance for it. So, probably what I, oh, damn it. So, probably what I want to do is. Break this all back, uh, probably another three blocks, and then start narrowing it down just a tad bit. So that's fine. That's that's when I'm gonna start cornering. There we go, just like that. So up across. Um, let's put that up there. Perfect. And then that down there. So the only problem we might ever come across with something like this, the whole thing being underground, is caves getting in the way. Like when I was um oh, when I was originally cutting out that bit over there, this was a big problem, like constantly hitting caves. I eventually just um tried to just border it, but because it was really hard to light up of how big the cave was, it just then became such a nuisance and then so on and so on. Oh well. So yeah, this is a this is the right width for the if however the problem is it's looking very square. We can fix that by hollowing out the roof, which I'm probably going to do uh, as the course goes. And then when it gets like this in the corners, so where it's quite very wide, I'll probably just add stuff like that. And then also, it's hard to see and hard to vision when this is this is the silly thing. So because I like the way how that comes across, I might, 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 might just block this off. Well, no, I was going to block it off, but I might just completely remove it because I want the corner. Mm -hmm. So that goes around there, and then you come to this little bit. And then, yeah, so that then comes to the smeltery room. So let's go back here. Okay, so is that going to be... So does that hit fit the criteria of four wide? No, it doesn't. So it's, it's three wide. Yeah, so also the cobble's not going to stay, of course it's not. Uh, once I get this auto smelter going, or I get silk touch on a pickaxe, then I will happily replace all the cobble in my base with smooth stone to make it a lot more nice looking. So yeah, this is fine. So it's going to have gates across here and gates across here. This is going to be a spruce. It's going to have a oak roof, a very flat oak roof, and then the horse in the middle sitting there. So probably go out this way a few blocks just a couple more so it gets that general shape um like a so like a so like a so like a so oh god this uh i don't know why it's doing this my computer cannot hold handle minecraft which is just something i never thought i'd say so then let's go let's leave that block so it gives it more of a spherical or circular sorry spherical is a 3d version shape of it so yeah so that goes down like that uh let's then oh hello so then break that one break that one this one needs to be pushed back one more um and that one needs to go as well so then let's put that one there so that so i'm not going to ever get the horse at that but i'll put some slabs up there as well probably have to do cobble here because um smooth stone slabs don't look that good when put like that but yeah, so that's looking that's looking rather nice. So what would be nice and what would be ideal in this situation was to just TNT it up. So it gives a really natural feel. But seeing as I don't have any TNT at the moment, I probably do it for uh, future builds. So you can see the difference of it. Um, I'm going to 
um, just hand drill it, unfortunately. <laughs> it's going to take a while, but it's definitely going to be worth it in the end. So I'll come back with hopefully, hopefully, it done. Alright, so there we go, guys. Um, I seem to be starting a lot of these episodes and all these little cuts. Whenever I cut it, I always seem to come back with alright. And I think it is getting a bit um, dubious right now because it is. I'm finding it to be annoying because I don't real. I don't. I understand sometimes I say okay, but most of the times I don't really know what to say. So what I've done here is basically. I think this is far enough, or I might go a bit further. But the reason why I went down three blocks here so abruptly is because that is blocking up the sea, which is above us. But I think this is more than far enough. It's just that little extra distance. So you're kind of forced to travel, but saying that, that's not very long at all, is it? That's, um, 10 seconds, maybe? Like, it's not that much faster with the horse than it is just basically running. But I definitely do like how it's, um, but yeah, we'll bone mill all this so it looks all nice, and we'll try and make it a little, a little more natural. Um, so I think in this bit now, we're going to work on the roofing area for the horse stable so that this horse is going to sit in here like like a so that's going to be um spruce i think i've said this already i uh, can't remember because i've been doing this probably for the last hour like it is a fair bit of mining and with only um efficiency four it doesn't go that fast oh hello um you appeared out of nowhere so let's get one of those down just in case another one one of his friends don't come spawning around and creeping on me. Uh, so let's also, that looks really unnatural, so let's, all, let's cut all that out. So eventually, once we get this um, auto smelter up and running, uh, one of the big things I want to do is um, smell all the stone. And then with places like this and uh, this and that and uh, all of this as well, I'm going to replace it all with stone and make it look very, very nice. So also I need to change all of these with... Um, the orange blocks, so it looks a little bit better. But yeah, so so far, good progress. So I think um, I'm gonna get the um, blocks I need for the roof and for this whole thing, and I'll come back and do that on camera. All right, so I think I've got everything I need to see. I'm going back to the all right things. So I need to try and get something better. So I think the first thing I want to do is see how this looks. I think I've got all the ingredients I need. Let's get up here. Perfect. Um, and next, let's with the slabs. So let's put that there. Bring all those across. Nice. I have to be a bit quiet currently because people are trying to sleep in my house. Uh, let's put all those there. And then with one block above, let's put all these here. Hopefully, we have enough blocks. If not, do not worry. Uh, let's break that one now just in case it gets in the way. So I'll know it's there and it's going to really annoy me. Let's see, yeah, you don't see that until you're at the very top, but that's 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 good. Um, so let's see, whilst we're here, let's um, get a few sticks, perfect. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's like that. And then it's, yep. Yeah. So let's get, let's get 21. Oh, well, the max we could. <laughs> So then let's go, oh, oops, 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 let's go over here. Oh, we didn't even need close to 21. So yeah, that is going to be the horse home. And I think I've got enough blocks to do it again. So yeah, that that's, this guy's just going to sit in here like that. He's got enough to come in, he's got enough to get out. So let's go all the way down here. Um, doesn't look as nice because there's dirt on the ceiling and just a bunch of other stuff. So I think what would be best is to have it going in here so let's dig out this wall a bit just a tad more um leave the corner let's excavate all of this i mean i need dirt to be honest because i'm close to running out which is um a weird statement indeed i probably i tell you what mod i want to get i don't know whether or not it's still alive it most likely is because it's such an easy thing to do but um, I remember seeing it in like original Minecraft Let's Plays where, oh wait, I need to get rid of this layer. There we go, perfect. Um, so, as I was saying with the mod, um, it basically prioritizes the best tool to use. So if you had a um, if you had a shovel and a pickaxe and you went to hit a piece of dirt, 
it would notify it would, like the mod would know that you're hitting a piece of dirt with a shell, uh, with a pickaxe so then it would transfer then it would like automatically change to the shovel so that'd be it'd be basically very good uh, mod to use and i i'm constantly using the wrong tool because i'm just slow i suppose <laughs> so probably not something that i should be saying when i'm 18 years old so yeah let's break bring all those down and break off that top one. Oh, that needs to be one over never mind so it's this one that one that one that one and that one um and then it's that one there Ooh, that's gonna in interfere with the wall that shouldn't be that much of a problem let's get a bit of cobble and put that there and I don't have any more oak. Hmm. Do you know fine? We we get we get to see the shape, and I think that's the more than anything. I can always get more oak mm. and do that off camera. So let's go back here and then I think it's this block here we need to go on. Yep, yeah, so unfortunately we didn't have enough blocks, of course we didn't, we already knew that though. And then Let's put those there, one there, one on that side. Probably need to br bring this black back one as well because it's only too deep at the moment, and the other one uh, back over that way is three. So we'll do that now. Um, let's do these. Um, I think because we're bringing it out one, let's. You might as well bring this all the way out as well. So I think I just said as well like three times. I don't know. Sorry, I have to be very, very quiet. I think I do anyway. I probably don't. I'm just um, being a little bit paranoid. But you know, a little bit of paranoia always goes good because then you can be extra cautioned about stuff. So yeah, that looks good. Of course, it doesn't look as good as the other one, but don't, don't worry about that, guys. <laughs> Uh, so let's, um, with the dirt in our hotbar, let's go around, clear out this. Hopefully, dirt, sorry, grass spreads onto dirt, because that be, that makes my job a whole lot easier, so I don't have to go out and get some more. So yeah, this is looking pretty bad at the moment, but once this is it's all dirt, and we basically bone wheel, um, up the sides, up the on the grass, it's gonna look. I can see it in my mind. It's gonna look very, very nice. So yeah, I want. I think I said in the last episode, I want the whole thing to be eight wide. So how long is how wide is this? The furnace. I want the auto smelter to be eight wide. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's perfect. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. The reason why it's perfect, one block indent, one block indent, perfect. So that one, that one. So that is pretty dang good. I don't think I have any more oak, so I'll have to go out, um, gather some. But with this, this super axe now... Oh, hello, you scared me. Um, where did you spawn from? I think I know where. Um, the reason why, also, the reason why I lost all my levels, I don't think I showed it on video, but I made myself... The ultimate bow. I might have. God damn, I'm losing my memory as well. So, pretty damn good, um, productive episode. I think I might end it here. I might not. I am uncertain. So yeah. Uh, I'll see how many minutes I've recorded for so far. This needs a bit more light. <laughs> as I slowly get distracted. What happens to all my torches? Did I drop them? No. What? Did I actually drop them? I'm losing my mind, aren't I? They're in my inventory somewhere. Hello? No, did I really use them? Oh, I'm sorry guys, that's... That is weirded me out. Oh god. Okay, so let's... Whilst we're up here, let's put one down there, because I think that's where he spawned from. Let's put some more on the floor, like this is a dark spot, so we'll put some over here. And we'll also put some back here, because I don't want to... I don't want to be jump scared again, because that was a, a bit weird to see him in my base. 
So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, video, and I'm now recording videos. Um, yeah, so if you guys did enjoy this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next adventure. Peace.